Hello everybody, uh, Lego D's Nuts here, and uh, yeah, today I will be doing a showcase on figures I've made for the show It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. If you haven't seen it, it's a pretty good show. Obviously, you know, it's it's not for kids. Um, and yeah, it's actually my first video, so... And once again, uh, I would just like to say that my figures, they aren't the best... No, I, I, don't, I only paint with nail polish, but you know, these figures are pretty easy because they're not like complex like superheroes or nothing. They're just kind of people. So the first character I would like to show off would be uh, Charlie. Now, I know the shirt, I, I gave him a rat. You'll see why later. But the shirt, if you could just take a good look, it's not that accurate. I use Shaggy's uh, from Scooby-Doo. And uh, the reason why is because of the dual molding and it kind of just looked like a nice shirt. He usually has a, a a black shirt with a horse on it, but I'm not that good at painting, so I just I just give him this green shirt and some of the jeans from I think it's the Lego Batman movie collectible minifigure series it came from, uh, with the Robin, and I gave him uh, this hair. I've seen people refer to this hair as the Sleepy Time hair. I think it was um, from some sort of I think it was from the Lego movie collectible series, but they had it in other sets as well, so. And, and I also gave him an alternate face print, which is a reference to one of the more, more recent episodes. It was called Charlie's Home Alone. Now, it was a very funny episode, if you look closely. Uh, so, in the episode, he gets a bunch of green... So, it's, I think it was um, a football game. And he has these superstitions. He has, to wear, he, has this, he has to wear green and eat brown and drink yellow. Which, uh, it's not... And he doesn't end up to the game. It's I'm not gonna. It's a complicated episode, but I gave him this rat because in the episode he actually eats a rat, which is disgusting. But uh, yeah, so this is a reference to the episode, and he also has blood on his head because I think he he I think he slammed his head on the floor or something. I don't know. But he also had a bear trap on his foot. Couldn't really put a bear trap on his foot, but yeah. So there's there's a Charlie. Now the next character it. I would like to show is Mac. Now, this character hasn't been updated for a while. I made mean, this character a while back. And, um, I remember before I actually, where's the hair piece? I used, uh, yeah, before I actually used this hair. Oh, shit. Uh, my bad. Uh, I used this hair, which is the, where did it come in? It was from, I don't know. But I originally used it because in the first season, Oh, so it's just someone else. In the first season, he um, had kind of this hairstyle, so I thought that would be perfect. But when I, I, the later seasons I started watching, you know, more and more he had this kind of smooth, you know, hair like like so. So that's why I gave him this, and I also gave him a um, a um, uh, beer cup or mug or whatever you like to call it. And uh, yeah, that's just kind of and. Look, he has no sleeves, because in, in the show, he's kind of uh, addicted. Uh, well, not addicted, he's just like, you know, he has this thing called Project Badass, and he's all about being buff and whatnot. And, uh, yeah, he wears no sleeves to make himself look more manly. And so, yeah, so let's go to the next uh, figure, which would be Dennis. Now, this one actually turned out better than I expected. This is the, this torso came from... I think the Lego Batman collectible minifigure series, again, a lot of these actually do. And it's the, from Batman, uh, his vacation, I just kind of paint, you look in the reflection, just paint it over the bat symbols. So he kind of has that shirt with the chest showing through and the dual mode arms. And I think that face print, if I just, oh yeah, you actually see the yellow. I should, this, this camera sees more than I thought it would. Wow. But. Uh, I think that face print works excellently for the character with the smirk and whatnot, and the hair, definitely as well. And, uh, yeah, and obviously the reason why he has kind of that button-up shirt is because in the show he's kind of a sex addict, and and it's, they're all just really bad people in the show. Like, honestly, they're, they're, they're terrible people. And, uh, let's go on to, yeah, I'm just gonna put this here so I can put the stand for the next character. Which is probably the character you've all been waiting for, which would be, let me 
just give me one stand. Danny DeVito's character, Frank. Now, this version of Frank is when he was the trash man, which a lot of people see in memes, you know? He's the trash man, throws garbage all over the uh, floor. No, I'll, I forget the exact line. And also gave him this red piece that represents his monster condom that he drops for his magnum dong, you know? <laughs> That'd be funny to include that. And um, this torso is actually from that Star Wars set with the uh, big brown monster, the... I forget what it's called, but why is it yellow? I don't know. That was just different. And uh, yeah, and I kind of just paint over them dark blue, dark blue pants, and yeah. And I also have another variant of Frank, which would be his uh, Spider-Man variant. I thought it'd be funny because I thought that the costume just kind of looked really goofy and how so simplistic it was. So I gave so yeah. This is pretty simple. Just blue arms. Made a sloppy looking spider. Some glass. This is the Flash's head. Uh, and kind of just gave him some glasses. This is gla the painting on the glasses are terrible. I know. And um, but yeah. So those are all the characters. Well, I do have one more, but it's kind of a work in progress. It. I. I. Deandra from the show. Her her minifigure. It's a work in progress. I'm not done with it. Look, look at look at this garbage. I mean, just look at that. Look at how garbage that the hair and that, like maybe from like a distance, if you like squint, that's Deandra. And plus, she never really wears. Oops, my bad. Oops, I've dropped my Magnum Danny DeVito. Uh, but it kind of just looks terrible, and so I'm gonna I'm gonna fix that, repaint the hair, get a better color, cause I couldn't find a good blonde hair color that really fit Deandra's. It's a black one. I need to find a good color mixture to get that good nice blonde color coloring going and yeah these are all the figures I have for it's always sunny in Philadelphia now if you haven't told by this episode this channel generally isn't for children I wouldn't recommend I should have mentioned this in the beginning of the thing but I didn't uh, I, I will uh, I, I show characters that you know that probably children we relate to so I'm like screw it might as well just go full on I don't swear that much but obviously in the episode I did a little bit um but yeah that's uh, about it for this episode uh well episode or video I should call it this is my first video so if you liked it leave a like uh, any feedback any other characters from the show you want me to make maybe uh rickety cricket or, well, I'll obviously improve Deandra. Or there's a lot of characters from the show I'd like to make. And, yeah, I just finished, actually, I recently finished the season finale. And it was a really good episode. I would definitely recommend the show if you haven't seen it. And, um, yeah, so, uh, I guess, bye. I don't really know how to end a YouTube video, but just bye. <laughs>